by the time I was 23 years old, I was the youngest African-American female in management for Verizon Southeast region. Prior to that, I was a disgruntled, disengaged, entitled sales and service representative that lacked interpersonal relationship skills, but I was good. Thank you for calling Verizon. My name is Natalie. It is my goal to provide you with outstanding service. How can I help you? See, I was really good. So when I started seeing everyone around me get promoted, I was livid. It took me right back to high school where they would not allow me to be great. Like they weren't even good. I felt like the game was rigged against me and I no longer wanted to play. I didn't even want to go to work. Even though I loved what I did, it was just those people. And one day I got a bit of inspiration while listening to Christmas carols. Yeah, there was something about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer's story that I could resonate with. I knew what it felt like to be laughed at and called names. I knew what it felt like to not allow me to play in any of the reindeer games. But it was something about the foggy Christmas Eve that had his nose on it that made me think that there was a way I could get in this game. And then it hit me. There was a way. I just needed to do three things. I needed to grow up. I needed to show up and I needed to glow up. That's right. If I wanted to get in the game, I had to stop focusing on what wasn't happening for me and I had to start making things happen for myself. But I found if you will eliminate the distractions, the gender distractions, the race distractions, the inequality distractions, and just lean into your gifts your talents and your abilities, then you will unleash your inner winner and you will make a difference that will cause you to become revolutionary. And instead of laughing and calling you names, then everyone will be singing about you for years to come. It's time to unleash your inner winner.